Hey fam, this is Ms. V, and welcome back to Half Naked Conversations. Listen, I'm down here in Mobile, Alabama, for the spirit of our ancestors. This is like the sixth year for this festival, right? Yes, ma'am. And uh, we just saw an ocean in my bones. An ocean in my bones, hmm. written by uh, award-winning director Terrence Spivey. And I'm sitting here with Jere Grant. Did I get your name right this year? Because, yes, you know, last year I interviewed Jere after the play, yes, An Ocean in My Bones, and I really screwed up his name, so I'm so happy to get it right this time. It's all good. And he is audio engineer. Audio engineer, yes, ma'am. For the play. And tell me, tell me, um, what's your take on the play this year? It, 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 has it changed? The oh, yes, it was a little bit more intense, you know, a little bit more work, too, on our end, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it had a lot of more information that was like, um, wasn't in the last play. That was in this play, and that made it just even more awesome. Mm -hmm. yes, Do you have a favorite part? It's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was some good, some very good scenes. Well, I can't say this. This actually was one of my favorite parts, one all, because I had to control the sound effects on this part mm -hmm. when, it, um, when this ship was going crazy, and I had to do the thunder mm -hmm. every now and then or whatever. But um, the thing was, like, it, it told like how we was treated back then. And then what makes me even grateful now is that we free from that. Yeah. You know? yeah. And not only, of course, the part wasn't entertaining because what what happened, but just the fact that um, just to see how far we came, like it's amazing. We've come a long way. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we have. So um, you know, how has this? It's been a year since you you know you first saw the first time, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Last year. How has this play affected you going forward? Oof. The fact that. First off, it was a very emotional play, very emotional. So I had to hold my composure like the, the whole Did time. You cry? We was, I try not to cry just this a little time. Bit, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Yes, it's very emotional. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. But uh, it was it was awesome, you know. And we just free now, and that's what make it even better because we couldn't do what we're doing now around that time. And the, 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 actually, my favorite part was at the end when we actually got free when it, when, the, when the bell rung. Mm. That was my favorite part. The bell <laughs> rung. Yes, you know, you said something to me a little earlier about. You know, it being a crime just to have a book, oh, right, read right, a book. Right, because that goes back to me saying, like, um, I'm very ungrateful for, like, the freedom we have because if we was caught with a book. Caught with a book. <laughs> yeah, right. Caught looking at certain people, then they you were like, You could okay, go to jail. Right. You could be murdered. Right, exactly. And that's what make it crazy. Unalived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Because these days, like, you caught with weed or a book, not, not a book, mm -hmm. weed or guns and mm -hmm. knives, and then, yeah. But back then, a book? A book. <laughs> really? Caught with a book. Just a book. <laughs> right. It's crazy. Oh, it really is. Mm -hmm. And so now, um, we're, we've got this one under our belt. Yes. What do you yes. see going forward for this project, the Clotilda? What do you see going forward for Africatown, for Plateau, for the residents of uh, Mobile, Alabama? I was just thinking about this the other day. Mm -hmm. like. When we first did this play, I didn't realize we was actually on ancient grounds. Mm. Because you know how they got like landmarks of the world, like uh, the Forbidden Kingdom and mm -hmm. the Colosseum and all mm -hmm. this good stuff and, and uh, the Holy City. But the fact that we actually in a, a area where the last slaves were, were sold, like that means a lot to me because I don't mm. live far from the area. Right. Right. So that's what make it great. So not everybody can know their history. And then it's almost like a museum type area. Like you come here and just look around and be like, hey, this was where, where this happened. And that's what make it uh, amazing to me. This is sacred ground. Yes, sacred ground. That, that's, that's the words I'm looking for. You know what I think about? This is one of our uh, first real connections back to Africa. Right. You know, before it was just, you know, yeah, you, we related. We know we came from Africa, but we had no real sense of history, mm -hmm. no real sense of ancestry, connection. This provides that, and that's what makes it so powerful for me. Mm -hmm. What makes this place so powerful for you? It's where it all happened. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it went down here. Right, and we got free in this area, like, mm -hmm. well, part of it, right? Mm -hmm. part, of, part of us Africans, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you can take something forward to, you know, the next generation, take something forward, some idea, some thoughts forward, tell our public, give our public, you know, what, you know, what can we take from this? What can we glean? What can we, you know, hang our hat on for this? What, what, what could you tell 
our listening audience, you know, that this is what is going to be going forward in the future. Just like, think about like where everything came from and then what you're doing now to the simple fact of you like getting up, going to Walmart or the dollar store and this and that, you ain't worry about nobody chasing you. They're like, hey, where you going? This and that, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that you, you're free. Like that's that's my that's my take on it. It's, a sense of gratitude. Yes, ma'am. Be ha be grateful. Right, be grateful for what you have because like um it ain't always been like that. <laughs> right, going well, forward. Well, be like this, right? Going forward, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with you. That. Going forward, okay. Well, we you know we got a short amount of time. Thank you, thank you again. Yes, ma'am. A wonderful interview. You did fantastic. I hope I did. <laughs> Yeah, like listen, if people want to find you? you on social media or if they want to reach out to you and contact you, how can they do that? Give us some information. On all my social media, it's Knuckles the Ace. That's my stage name. It's K N U C K L E S D A A C E. It's that same name on everything. All right. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, you name all the social media. Because I'm actually an artist and music producer as well, so you can. You can come and check out my content, you know. All right. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, All thank right. You. Thank you for a great interview. Uh, thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks so All much. right, fam. Peace out.